no big deal. Uh, we just, you know, casual talk so I could ask you some questions. How, you know what? I wanted to ask you, like, how long have you been in the clan? Because uh, I've, I've been playing somewhat when the game actually started, and okay. I noticed that Quantum... Quantum Web has been around for a while. Quantum, you know? Correct. Quantum Web started off, well, back in the day, it was, I think it was Canadian Rage and then turned into Quantum Rage. Back about eight months ago, eight, eight months or so, it turned into Quantum's Web, which Quantum Rage merged with Web. Right. I remember Raids. Actually, I, there's a lot of Quantums <laughs> that I remember. <laughs> Tons. Man, so okay, you guys went from ra rage to web, and that's basically, I guess, signifying that you know you're a web together. You're just bringing all the clans together, or what does that mean? Well, obviously, with qu the Quantum Rage original clan, we merged with the clan web, which was called Web. So then it just became Quantum's Web. Right now, what what? So we took two. We took we took two big clans. You know, two. You know, Quantum Rage back then was probably three or four in the world and then it became and, and web was probably around you know eight or nine so we merged together to cr create quantum's web to have a higher ranked clan mm -hmm. yeah i've noticed you guys have been pretty much on leaderboards most of the times you know right uh it, it's fluctuating you know even with the the top players they keep fluctuating sure we uh, have people i think we have people go out and visit all the time you know to visit their old clans that they came from you know, obviously, a lot of a lot of guys go back into the feeders, visit some friends from back in the feeders. So, uh, would you would you guys say that you have like I guess a lot of loyal players to keep the name up there? Uh oh yeah, exactly. We we have we probably have about five hundred players in the Quantum family. Yep. If you go through all the little feeders that we have between QW1, QW2, QW3, QW4. Quantum Chill. I mean, and the list goes on. Now, what's what's your role in the clan? Are you a co-leader? You're elder. Well, we our leadership is not one sole person. It's a it's a group of people. So we transfer it back and forth because you always want coverage, you know, day and night, and you know, and especially in the in the top clan because you have players from overseas, you have players from the U.S., and it keeps it moving moving better. Yeah, you know, I could, <laughs> I wish our clan was like that. You know, I, I I try to lead it, but then you know, there's there's so much stuff you have to do, and I'm glad they do the, the they have the new co co-leader thing where you know a lot of people because it's just a status thing. From, Correct. From from what I see, you know, like everybody's asking for elder now. So I mean, <laughs> I don't mind giving elder now if they're potential candidates. Right, because back in the day before they came out with the co-lead, if you gave elder to the wrong person, you'd wake up and you'd be, you know, two people in the clan and they kicked everybody out. <laughs> Have you guys had that? Uh, not, <laughs> not, not in the main clan, no. Because like I said, it's, it's it's a group of people that run the clan. So it's not it's it's not the sole responsibility of one person to take all of control. Okay. Well, I've I've actually had an incident where that did happen to me, and uh, you know, you think you can trust people, and then you, you, <laughs> yeah. you come back to your website and there's porn all over it. Like, yeah. Dang. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. It's it was crazy. But the co lead is a is a pretty good deal. You know, obviously now everybody could be elder. The co lead is a new responsibility, so which is nice. Yeah. yeah. So so if one of the leaders fell asleep and something happened, you got a co lead that can step in and you know obviously do the same thing he does. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted to... Uh, you know what? I didn't even ask for your name. Dang. <laughs> what was your name in the game? <laughs> it's Pipe Piper. Pipe Piper, okay. Now, I need to ask you some things. Like, how do you feel about, so far, the progress with the game? There's been a lot of changes, like, with um, the loot, the uh, Infernal Towers, uh, I guess the way the witches work now, Hog Riders. There's just so much stuff going on, you know? Well, well And, of course... And of course, the um, the whole thing about revenging people. Can right. you just like maybe give me some insight how you you know how the changes have affected you? Well, basically, let's go back to when they first started with the witches. I mean, this we're talking what six eight months ago. That changed the evolution of the game because it became more progressive on attacks than even playing defense because there was no way you were going to win a defense. And then they they nerfed the witches and then they brought the hogs. And then they nerfed the hogs. Actually, they nerfed the hogs twice. And people nowadays still use hogs, which has changed the complex of the game. 
Yeah, but you know what? The hogs actually sucked really bad. They just they went like they were like barbarians basically until they changed it so that they went for weapons. Co know? Correct, correct. It was a wasted troop. It's kind of like a Valkyrie. Who uses Valkyries anymore? Nobody. <laughs> There's a lot of wasted Me? troops, but <laughs> oh yeah, I'm trying to. I'm playing with right. the Boom Beach character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're not. Yeah, I know. And you who mean, and, and who who use. who even uses you know needs eleven level eleven walls anymore? You can get use the jump spell all day long and you know jump golems right over the level eleven walls. Yeah. Well, you know what? Um. Uh, okay. Now, are you? Do you have problems more with air attacks, or is it all ground attacks where you're at? I, I play both. I, I can do air attacks. I can do ground attacks. I, I can use hogs. I can use witches. You can use the golem whiz attack and dragons. I mean, dragons are good for always getting one star. You know, I've never been a minion person, but the dragons, like, you can always one star with dragons. But again, you get into the cost of, you know, making dragons. What's better? Hog, hogs is the cheapest... <laughs> His armor you can assemble right now. Yeah, yeah, and you can always catch people off guard. But I, I think uh, you can't really, you can't really use hogs if you're fighting with multi towers, right? No, no, actually, no. I can, I, you can one star any base with hogs, with, with no matter where their CC is or no matter where their king and queen is. You can always one star base with hogs now. How do you feel about um? How do you feel about the infernal tower changes? Like, do you feel maybe uh, having two multis rather than two singles are better, or just uh, switch them off to a single and multi? I I don't even play mine on multi anymore. I keep it on the single because of the king and queen with their new abilities. If you know, obviously a multi tower hits a king and queen, it takes five minutes to kill a king or queen. So I always leave it on single. So I mean, I don't. I don't have any feelings towards either way. I, some people like it on multi, some people like it on single. Mm, dang. Well, you're going to have to put some good traps or something because I, <laughs> well, yeah, it I feel on... it, it, it's, it's pretty hard to defend your base now. You know, it's like every time you look at your base, someone's already attacked you and you're, you know, always losing. Well, that's how I feel. Like, Oh, probably. yeah. there's you, you rarely ever win it unless someone screws up and drops a bunch of rage out in the yard that doesn't do him any good yeah, <laughs> done exactly. that a couple times <laughs> exactly but let's go back um, to let's go back to the revenge okay and the, the basically what everybody called cheap shielding back in the day this is what changed the complex of the game as well now obviously top players had multiple accounts and everybody I think has a misunderstanding of how this actually worked when you have multiple accounts, to if you're at 4,100 cups, well, back in the day there was, mate. When I was at when I was ranked one in the U.S., there was maybe 12 players over 4,000 cups. Now they took the revenge away, and there's 89 players over 4,000 cups. Wow! So okay. huge difference. Uh -huh. Well, reve revenge still works. And the only way revenge works is if someone skips your base. Mm -hmm. So if you're if someone's searching you, someone's searching, your base pops up, they skip it, revenge automatically, you can use it. So do you feel Which, that was like, I guess, a, a good move on Supercells to make it like somewhat of an even playing field or? Well, here, let me go back to what I was talking about revenge before they, before they, they, they changed it. High-level players had multiple accounts, so they would try to find themselves. Well, to find yourself, you have to be in a certain cup range. 500 cups, 600 cups. If you're at 4,100, you got to be at 35, 3,600 cups to find your, you know, your other base. Well, <clears throat> it's not a perfect world because with the with the mini accounts, when you put your base out there, you don't find it every time. Mm -hmm. So basically, they took away all the top players using three or four accounts. You know, keeping them accounts at 35, 3,600 cups to find. That's crazy. How do you do that? <laughs> Four iPads. <laughs> I can I can barely keep my own. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Just when you're one account. when you're heavy and when you're heavy into COC, I mean, and you're trying to get to the top spot, that's what you had to do. Yeah, There's no way because dedication. again, it, it hours and hours and hours, weeks and weeks, and a lot of money. Yeah, man, that's dedication. 
right. I'm thinking it's it's just like this drive to get to number one. That's it has to be that. It, it is. It I truly, think it everybody truly, wants it, that to just to be number one. It, it truly is a drive to get to number one. I mean, look at look back a couple weeks ago before they fixed this, uh, before they set in the six hour attacking before you have to sign off. Muhammad, oh, yeah. the number one player in the world, he sat at the same cups for two weeks straight, and, yeah, nobody, and nobody so. could nobody them. could figure out how he was doing it. Yeah. So obviously there's there's an iMod out there that keeps you online for as long as you can possibly be online. And they figure out how to glitch past the eight hours. So I, I yeah. again I don't know how they get into all that stuff, but Yeah, they I I know that I think with the, the last update Supercell mentioned that they, they were doing stuff to get around all this stuff. So I'm sure, like now, they've tried to make it so that it's all fair right. and it's even, you know. No, I I so. agree. I mean, I, they've made changes to try to make it better and even even playing field for everybody, which I understand completely. But now it's gotten so bad. I mean, even that between the ranges of 3,600 cups and you know 4,000 and beyond, the searches are endless. I mean, all you see is clouds. You'll get one cup here. One cup here, uh-huh. one cup here. Then you'll get a retry 15 times before you find another base. So I don't, uh-huh. I don't think the game was ever intended to, to be over 3,500 cups. And it, yeah, me it, neither. And when they when they came out with the witches and hogs, it totally changed the realm of attacks, and everybody was going crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? I'm I'm thinking that you know. It could be in the possible future that Supercell is going to release this new update for Clan Wars. So right. I'm, I'm wondering if this thing could actually make it so that, you know, it won't be such a cup drive anymore. Rather, it would be like a clan versus clan where, I you think, know, whoever is the strongest clan will be the number one, you know? Okay, well, I play another platform, which obviously I'm sure you've heard of the other game. I won't say it out loud, but I'm sure you know which game I'm talking about <laughs> that has Clan Wars. Okay, yeah. I mean, and that game is, is it's, it's fun for everybody. You know what I mean? Obviously, I, you know, I've been on the forums and, you know, with, with COC, and it's, it's farmer-based. Mm-hmm. Well, in the other platform, everybody gets a chance to jump in and pitch in to help their clan to get to beat the other clan, and then you win, you know, diamonds or gems. It's, it's, a, it's a perfect game. But then they also have the other realm of it, which you, you still have a high cup player they can still reach the top of the leaderboard right okay but see they need to fix the cup system that's where they have to figure out how to get rid of you know on the other platform obviously if you attack someone you get five cups if you lose you lose 24 cups and it's always the same over and over and over again mm-hmm. you know what I mean it's a so, set there's a set limit on how many cups you get mm-hmm. does that make sense yeah, that does. Well, is that system better or is that worse? They have, I, in my opinion, that system is is better. But COC has the best graphics I've ever seen. They have the you know, and they give you a multitude of, you know, troops and armies to build. I mean, it's hands down they have the best graphics of any other game. Yeah, but and you know, I think I the think other platform has better perks to it. Yeah, better perks. You know, I think that's pretty much why. Um, Supercell is probably a little bit more successful in that area it's just because it's more polished, you know, and, right. and oh, it yeah, just totally. feels like a better game. And everybody yeah. wants to play, you know, COC, but like I said, in the last in the last three or four months, it's gone so bad that I see people leaving every day. And it's like, wow, we, we can't stand looking at clouds anymore. It's an attack game, and we can't even attack. Yeah. I mean, you got the dimmer's world, and you got the, the farmer's world. So, I mean, there's two different biases there as well. You know, well, what exactly? What what's what's keeping you playing? Is it because of your clan, or is it just you, you're you're still driving I, to get to the my, top? No, no, I I lay low. I'm probably around thirty thirty six hundred right now. So I'm not even. You know, I'll go on for an hour here and there just to look at see what's out there and get frustrated and just log off. <laughs> Yeah, that. pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and they don't, again, they, it's a fun game to play, but you you, you know you you want there's there's risk and reward. You know, if you're if you're a gemmer and you're wanting to attack and you're spending you know 500 gems in attack and you're only getting one cup at a time, how far do you really want to go? Yeah, that's that's. A, I honestly don't see how you know because I I I enjoy you know attacking 
and just chilling in my base. <laughs> right. No. Right. <laughs> exactly. Go that high. But, but see, I, I, you know, I, I, I obviously I've had, I've had several accounts. I've had eight accounts at one point, and I, you know, I get down to the, holy, you know, holy jeez. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Dang. Some of our them? some of our top guys in our clan have several accounts that they maintain. It's like, how can you do this? Because just the attack basis is just searching and searching and searching. You can't find it. It's driving me nuts. Yeah. Dang. Okay. That's yeah. that has to be the record. I've never heard of anyone having eight. That's oh, well, God, trust me. I know people <laughs> have a lot more. <laughs> oh man. But you know, again, it's it's a, it's a, it's a fun game. But you know, I've been down to the gold. And it kind of gets. You know, when you have max troops and you're going into raid a base that has level five walls or level six walls, it's like, what's a challenge? You know, I could drop my level forty king and queen and pretty much de demolish the base without even trying. So yeah. you want to have that. You want to have that challenge, and so you're all. You might lose. You might not lose. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can go in and steal resources all day long, but uh, it gets boring. Yeah. So what? Um... I don't know, like, I wanted to ask, what what would you want to see maybe possibly in the future for Supercell, or what would you like to add to the game right now? Just the clan wars, man. I tell you what, that's going to make it fun for everybody from, you know, levels 0 to level 150. Everybody will enjoy it because just the structure of it gets everybody involved. Yeah, and you win, I, you win I, as a clan. You don't win as a person. You win as a clan. Yeah. I think you know what that actually might be something that could actually turn the game around I, and I, I agree you know bring everybody back together again uh, right. but also maybe if they what, what do you feel about the new hero abilities you think that's a pretty cool thing or maybe we should have a new dark troop I, I the hero abilities are pretty cool you know again it kind of adds an extra spells to your your heroes which is great you know but again it's you really have to screw up to lose now which is you know it's but it happens, don't get me wrong. But the hero abilities, I, I like them. I mean, I enjoy them. I mean, hey, it's an extra perk we didn't have to buy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, already built, it's already built into the hero. Yeah, if you have exactly. a level 10 hero, level 20 hero, level 40 hero, it, it reacts to that. So it's perfect. Yeah. Okay, well, hey, did you want to add anything else? You know, if uh, you have any clan mates watching or just, you know, something else you'd like to see. I know you wanted to see clan wars. Right. And I'm hoping for that too, you know. I'm really hoping for that. Maybe, hopefully, right. pretty soon it'll come out. But we'll see. Right. No, I mean, I obviously want to give out a shout out to the, you know the clan, the Quantum's Web. I mean, we have some great players, you know, KSA. You got Locky. You get, I mean, there's a whole host of people that make Quantum's Web what it is, and it's it's amazing to be a part of it. Yeah, you know, you guys have been around, and it's been uh, really cool seeing you guys maintain that, you know, that leaderboard position, and, you know, hopefully you guys keep at it, you stay up there. Right, and like I said, this is the only way that I keep playing this game is because of, of the clan itself. I mean, that's a great people I've met over the year, and it's just, it's amazing. Yeah. Hey, well, man, it was, it's been great interviewing you and uh, checking out you guys' clan. I went down there and I recorded some of the gameplay, so I'll be posting that while, you know, uh, fans are watching this video. And we appreciate you, man. Not many right, people ask so what's going on in the world, but like I said, I've watched some of your videos. It makes me laugh, man. You got some good ones. Oh, thanks, man. All right. Hey, well, thanks again, man. Thanks, bye. All right, bye.